This week our travels take us here to Branson, Missouri, home of some great water rides, terrific shows, great food. If you can't find it here, you can't find it anywhere. Let's explore Branson, Missouri. No, this isn't Hollywood, it's Southern Missouri, with something for every member of the family to enjoy. After all, where else can you get Elvis and miniature golf just minutes away? Branson is what they call a rubber tire destination, with most visitors arriving in cars, tour buses, or RVs. A whole bunch of RVs. You'll find plenty of nice RV parks scattered throughout the Branson area. There is a downside to all of these vehicles, and that is Branson traffic. Here's probably the best piece of advice I can give you when driving in Branson. Do your best to stay off of this. This is called the Strip, Route 76, and it's always backed up. Get yourself one of these maps and use what they call the Branson Time Saver Routes. They're roads that parallel Route 76. Packed into this seven mile stretch of Route 76, you'll find restaurants, hotels, shopping outlets, water slides, and even psychics. Branson promotes itself as the live country music capital of the world. In addition to individual acts like George Jones, you can see popular theme shows like the highly entertaining Country Tonight and the long-running legend show featuring the Blues Brothers, Reba McIntyre, and of course, the King himself. You'll also find lots to do during the day, like exploring the beautiful Ozark Mountains. Here's a great way to see Branson and the beautiful surrounding Ozark Mountains on board the Ducks. These open-air World War II amphibious vehicles take you through the Branson traffic, up to Baird Mountain, and then straight into the neighboring Table Rock Lake. First tourism attraction here was the outdoor living, the hunting, the fishing, uh, the whole history behind that uh, is what got things started in Branson before they ever picked a banjo here. So. We like to show them a little bit of that too. You got to ride on the land and then you went in the water. That was yeah, kind of unique, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's an amazing vehicle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, I, we'd, we'd all like to have one of these, wouldn't we? <laughs> we just yeah. jump right in the water anytime you want. That's great, yeah. And you enjoyed the scenery that you saw? Oh, yes, it was beautiful. In and around the rolling hills of the Ozarks are many quality RV parks with wooded sites and great family activities. Well, it's wood and everything, but also you know, you've got to have a code to get in here and everything else so you feel right. safe with the kids and all that stuff. So yeah. That's great. Yeah, so who else do we have here? Who's this? Oh, this is my littlest one out right here. She's Hi, how are you? Three years old. Good. So that's <laughs> Chris and his family were just about to sit down for their evening barbecue. Country style ribs. Oh, let's take a peek at those. Woo! Oh, my. Look at that. On the other side of town is the ABC Campgrounds, the winner of the Good Sam Welcome Mat Award for this year. The campground has 162 sites with full hookups, seven cabins, a cozy main lodge with a store, and a 300-seat pavilion. We call ourselves city close and country quiet. We can be anywhere in town in just a few minutes because we're just right on one of the bypass routes, so you don't have to be in the traffic on the strip. We're here on the front porch of the lodge, Jim, and boy, what a nice place to kick back with a good book. It's a great place for people to sit and visit or sit by the door and meet other RVers as they come in. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. and maybe do a little whittling because we're down here in the Ozarks. <laughs> yeah, a good spot to do that too. Yeah, and I'm looking right over here is a gorgeous swimming pool. And uh, although we got a little uh, rain today on a nice sunny day, boy, I bet this place is just packed. Yeah, it gets filled up with kids and, and uh, the parents watching them swim. ABC has added another great feature this past year, the only RV car wash in Branson. Decided that we'd make it a little more convenient for them to find one and we build it here in the back of the park. That's a great idea, first one I've seen. What do you like about uh, America's best campgrounds here? Oh, it's convenient to town and it's clean and it's just, you know, the people are really friendly and it's good service. You just, if anything you need, they just, they're over anxious to help you. We met plenty of RVers pulling their boats in and around Branson, including Gary Clark and his family from Wichita, Kansas, who were negotiating the Branson streets at night like true pros. This happens to be a 39 foot Discovery made by Fleetwood. It's a triple slide and it's a diesel powered. It's got a 330 Cat and a six speed Allison. Behind it is a 26 foot Chaparral and with a trailer, it all measures about 80 feet long. 
and it's really not a problem. The only problem we've had is finding a parking place. Wow, you have some room in here. Look at this room. Thank you. We really enjoy it. I tell you, when you have a large family and a large group of people getting together, there's nothing better than a triple slide. Gary enjoys bringing his large family to Branson because of the three scenic That's lakes people. in the area, perfect for swimming, boating, and fishing. They also enjoy the fun at Silver Dollar City. On site, you'll find some great rides, shows, and nearly 100 craftsmen demonstrating pottery, glass blowing, and blacksmithing. So here you see a strong arm of a blacksmith's hammer making a delicate, beautiful rose out of iron, and it just lasts forever. And it's it's a uh, it's indicative of the kind of work and the kind of attention to detail that the craftsmen in the old days had to have to survive. All right, so here is Granny's Lye Soap. And you know, whenever I think of Granny's Lye Soap, I think of Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies making Lye Soap in the cement pond in the backyard. Remember that? And in fact, Granny was here when the Beverly Hillbillies filmed an episode of their show at Silver Dollar City in the late 60s. I don't think Jed and Granny did any wine tasting while in town, but you can do free tasting at the Stonehill Winery just off the main drag in Branson. And that cream sherry is a nice way to prepare for another evening of entertainment on the main drag. Maybe some more country music or the top hits of the 60s. There's something for everyone here in Branson. Coming up, a visit with country music legend George Jones and a personal tour of his beautiful coach. That's next.